God of our Lord Jesus the Christ, the Father of glory, may give you give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. H I M. Not H Y M N. Him. What is this wisdom? What is this revelation? What is this knowledge? What is this empowerment? What is this promise? It is in the knowledge of him. What, why are our eyes, what is it, verse 18, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe according to the work of his mighty power which he wrought in christ or through christ right when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above the principality and powers remember we fight not against flesh and blood right we fight against principalities and powers and where is jesus at the right hand of the father far above the principalities and powers and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come he hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is his body remember the body of christ we are the body of Christ and the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Whew. That's that's beautiful. That's that's powerful. Right there you can walk and march to heaven with that information right there. You are you have already been sealed with the Holy Spirit once you believe. And once you believed and once you were sealed, you were given the deposit, the earnest money on your inheritance. Just a little bit, just a taste of what is to come. You were, your eyes have been opened. The scales, remember the Lord had talked about the scales being removed, uh, needing to be removed from the eyes. Why? Because now things are being revealed more and more, more and more. We're getting more and more information. God is letting us know all the things we need to know. The more we read the word, the more we, what? Get knowledge of him. By whom? The spirit of wisdom. So now we see that the Holy Spirit is called the spirit of truth, the spirit of wisdom, the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, the Guide. And later we will find out, as we see here, as Jesus sits at the right hand of God, he, the Spirit, is also our intercessor. He leads and guides us into all truths because we said he is the Spirit of truth, the Spirit of promise, and now the spirit of wisdom. Amen and amen. Uh, we are just getting into this study and it is getting exciting and it is going to be even more exciting as we continue to read. Uh, I believe you have been, um, you've. I, I think I've given you many of these scriptures before, so I won't repeat them again, but until we see each other, uh, meet each other here at this space, Saturday afternoons uh, 3 p.m eastern time uh, to study the word of god and to learn of the empowering um, function of the holy spirit in the present and into eternity until then may god add to the hearers 
and the doers of his word. May God bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Shalom.